Does your amp have a master volume and you're wondering, is it worth adding an attenuator if I have a master volume? Or maybe your amp doesn't have a master volume and you're wondering how you could possibly turn it down to get to practice level volumes. Or maybe your amp is just insanely loud and you're just trying to figure out a way to tame it. Well, this video's for you. So as usual, I'll put up a uh, timestamp so you guys can skip me talking and go straight to the sound samples if that's what you want. But for everyone else, let me start by saying why I'm doing this test. This is a second video in a three-part series comparing uh, my Blues Junior and Tweed Deluxe. This video is going to focus on comparing the master volume of the Blues Junior and the attenuator of the Tweed Deluxe. So the Tweed Deluxe just has very simple, basic controls. Uh, to learn more about that, you could check out the first video. Instead of a master volume, which it didn't come with, an attenuator was added after the amp, but before the speaker, to lower the volume to play at practice levels. Now the Blues Junior, on the other hand, doesn't have an attenuator, but it comes with a master volume. And I've always wondered what's better to have. So the Tweed Deluxe is a newer amp that I've purchased and the Blues Junior is an amp that I've had for a while. And one of the complaints I've had with the Blues Junior is that I always struggle to get practice volumes out of it because I have to kind of finesse the vo master volume between one and two to find a spot where the amp isn't crazy loud because it wants to just, as soon as you hit two, it just wants to spike up and get super loud. I know this is a common complaint with a lot of Fender amps. I know that's a thing with the Blues Deluxe and the Hot Rod Deluxe as well. So that this is a common issue. Hopefully this might help some of you with those amps as well. So the two main questions I'm trying to answer from this experiment is, if you have a master volume, is it worth getting an attenuator? And if you don't have a master volume, is an attenuator a good replacement? So there's two parts to this experiment. The first one that I'm going to go through is just comparing the two amps, which I know isn't perfectly scientific because they're two completely different amps and they're going to have their own tonal characteristics. Uh, so you'll hear some of that. But what I did was I set a decibel meter in between the two amps and I got a clean tone, a slightly overdriven tone, and a very over overdriven tone. And I played the same performance through both using a looper pedal. And what I did was I used the master volume on the Blues Junior to get to 85 decibels, and I used the attenuator of the Tweed Deluxe to get to 85 decibels. So they're both the same exact volume in the room, uh, and we're just using the two different methods to get to 85 decibels. So that I will go ahead and play for you now, and you can hear the comparison.
So for this last sound test, I wanted to eliminate the tone differences between the two amps and use one amp, but still use a master volume and an attenuator. So how I did this was I ran the Blues Junior through the speaker cabinet of the Tweed Deluxe. So it's going through the attenuator that's before the speaker in the Tweed Deluxe, but we're, you're only going to hear the Blues Junior for this last sound clip. Same thing where I did clean, slightly overdriven, and very overdriven, but I used the master volume in the Blues Junior to get to 85 decibels, and then I did the same thing, but I had the master volume all the way up, so completely wide open, and then I used the attenuator in the Tweed Deluxe to get to 85 decibels. So that's eliminating any other variables and we're just going to hear the difference between using a master volume and attenuator. Alright, so check out these sound clips and we'll come back and I'll give my final thoughts.
All right, so here are my final thoughts on a master volume versus an attenuator. Firstly, the attenuator definitely solves the spike issue from the master volume of the Blues Junior. I was able to more comfortably find a practice volume with the attenuator versus the master volume. So first things first, the attenuator solved that issue. The second thing, which you probably heard in the sound clips, is when I used the attenuator, we were able to get some additional saturation from the power tubes. Now that's like the main benefit of using an attenuator. That's why they really exist, is so that you can crank the tubes and get uh, not only saturation from the preamp tubes, but also the power tubes, which has a different flavor to it. So you probably noticed, I tried to get the sound similar, but you probably noticed that in the attenuator clips, there was additional saturation or gain in uh, the sound. The last thing I noticed, although we were using the Blues Junior, which uh, is prone to have a lack of low end, which I talk more about in the first video if you wanna check that out, a lot of the bass was able to come back by uh, using the attenuator. When you use a master volume, it kind of, chokes the tone a little bit and reduces some of the fullness. So I felt that for me personally, I could hear a little bit more of a fuller sound when using the attenuator. Now that might be a bad thing if you're trying to use volume control to uh, not disturb neighbors or roommates or whomever. Um, so you might not want the low end because that low end carries more uh, through other rooms. For me personally, I would prefer to have a fuller sound just at a lower volume than have a thinner sound that doesn't carry as far. So that about wraps it up. This is the second part of the Blues Junior versus Tweed Deluxe. I'm planning to do one more where I run both similar kind of what I did um, in this last experiment, but do uh, also run the Tweed Deluxe into the Blues Junior and compare the amps going through each other's cabinets so we can really hear uh, the most full comparison as possible between the two amps and see if the Blues Junior sounds better through the speaker and cabinet of the Tweed Deluxe or if the Tweed Deluxe sounds better through the Blues Junior. Um, the Blues Junior has a more efficient speaker and the Tweed Deluxe has a slightly bigger cabinet, so it will be interesting to see how those uh, impact the tone of the two amps. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe and I'll hopefully have that last video out pretty soon. Keep jamming and I'll see you in the next one.